Hello YouTube. Today what we're going to try to show is how to build a cloning bucket. Once you see the results you can get from a cloning bucket, you'll want one of your own, I promise. This here is basically everything you'll need to make a cloning bucket. You can do it with a little less materials. You can do it with some more. You can build it fancy as you want to. All basically a cloning bucket does is it holds your clone or your sucker or your root suspended where you can get some nutrients up on it and it has a, established a root system itself it doesn't have any roots when you put it into the bucket it's basically just a, a stick if it's like a tree cutting or something like that a tomato sucker a pepper sucker something like that it won't have any roots so it has no way to get any nutrition so we're gonna show you today how to put one together and we'll show you the results we've had of one so far let's get started first we have a plain old two gallon bucket I got this from the grocery store here in my town I believe it came with uh, this is a sure shade bold red icing bucket two gallons then we have some two inch neck cups the neoprene that goes inside the neck cups actually I think I bought these off of Amazon they came as a set We'll put all, all the links for everything that we're going to use today. <coughs> we'll put in the bottom. We'll put links down in the below the video. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take the neck cups here, and we'll lay them out across the bucket here, and we'll get kind of a guesstimation, if you will, of where everything needs to go. I know from previously doing this, you could get another neck cup on top of here. That's eight. You could actually get nine. I also wanted to show this completely and totally up to you as you're building your own cloner. What I did is I've got several of the several different varieties of the two inch neck cups. Both of these are two inch neck cups. But as you can tell they're not the exact same. They don't fit together exactly right. The reason is, is this one has a big wide open spaces on the bottom and this one not so much. It's got a lot narrower side vents for your roots to come out. Whereas this one is a little bit bigger. Um, the other difference is, is this one is a little bit flimsier than this one. This is a little bit stouter. This is the one I use for lettuces and starting some seeds and stuff like that just because it's a little bit more sturdy. I will use these if I don't have any of the other kind, but normally I use, I'll use i use these if I know I'm going to cut the bottom out, put them in a cloner, or something to that effect. Also what you'll notice is I've already cut the bottom out of this one. Looking at them, you can tell there's a, a inner ring or a dividing ring right about halfway to the neck cup. I cut right below that main reason is I don't want the roots to get all tangled in here I want them to be hanging down free so when I pull them out I can go straight into a hydroponic bucket with them or possibly I can go straight into the soil with them our tomatoes didn't go really as good as I wanted them to this year so this year we're probably gonna go half and half or three quarters will go back into the soil the other one quarter probably gonna be in a hydroponic bucket just to see how much more tomatoes we can get this year but what I'll do to make it easier is cut the bottom off right below the inside ring there to split and set it back on the bucket right where it was take your marker and hit right about middle of it that's going to be our center point for our drill for our hole drill we'll show you a couple of those take your neck cup and normal scissors will normally cut the neck cup just cut it right below the bottom of that little inner circle or split divider. Set it back on the bucket where it was. Mark the middle. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we've got all our neck cups here. 
We're going to take our two inch drill bit, or hole saw, and this is exactly a two inch hole saw. This is uh, just the one that we've had at our hardware store here. They come in several different shapes, sizes, styles. I like this one because it's one piece and it's a little bit less expensive than the whole entire hole saw kit that you get three, maybe four different hole saws that interchange. This is just one, but it costs a little bit less and when you're done with it, you can throw it away. We're just gonna put the center bit right where we marked it and you don't have to drill fast, believe me. It'll go through it and some people will even say drill backwards. What I'll do is I'll start it forward, get it somewhat through, right before it actually goes through the bucket, I'll drill it backwards, and you'll probably see why here in just a second. There you go. Once it catches, it's caught. will look like this here. Eight nice size holes in it. You just take your knife, get some of the shavings off. Just be careful that you don't make it too big because you want your net cut to slide down in there. There's about an eighth of an inch lip on the cup, each cup, and that's to catch the top there so it won't go all the way through. Like I said, the two inch hole saw works perfect for these here. I would highly advise you, before you start drilling holes into your finished product and putting neck cuts in it, to drill a hole into some other scrap material and testing it first because I have got some neck cups. They say they're two inches. They're not. They're, if you drill a hole two inches, it goes right through it because the lip's too small. It's better to measure first and drill on a scrap piece of something before you get burned like that. So for now, we're just going to get the main pieces out. Okay. Now that we have our holes all drilled, and we've assured ourselves that the neck cup will go through and fit perfectly, not going through the hole, we need to cut a spot for our air hose. Anywhere around the bucket, it doesn't really matter. I just cut out a little notch. It's just a quarter of an inch air hose that's going to go down in here. What I use on my cloners is what's called a Dewey Mister. Now the Dewey Mister, it doesn't run off of water. You're not using a spray or a, a sprinkler system with water. You, you are using water and nutrients getting splashed up on the roots, but you run air into this part down here and it has a little hole on the side here that you can adjust in and out depending on how much water you want to shoot out, how often. Now in a two gallon bucket, this thing I promise you will cover the entire top of the two gallon bucket in about a minute, two minutes, something like that. It just shoots the water out and it splashes everywhere. And place that down in your bucket with the supplied <laughs> suction cups. Then we'll just come in here and we'll cut out a little notch, just enough for our air hose to get in there. And also another thing that I, I would recommend, I have not done it yet, I need to, is if you want to take black plastic and cover your cloner, the more light you can keep out of here, the better. I think what I'm actually going to do with mine is I'm going to take some black paint. I'm just going to paint the entire outside with a, a plastic spray paint. Or a spray paint that will adhere to plastic. We'll paint the top black. But in all honesty, I haven't seen any adverse effects. My other one is still white. Keeping it black will keep, all the, keep the algae down. If you have an algae problem, especially in the heat where we are in East Texas, it's extremely hot and humid. For instance, right now it's right at 8 o'clock and it's 87, right at 88 degrees still, and it's hot. We've got our holes cut, we've got our net pots cut. All we need to do now is hook our air pump up, run some air line to our Dewey Mister, and we'll be good to go. Please stay tuned, subscribe. Next video coming up, we're going to show exactly how we put, what we put inside here. To get our clones to have good root systems we're going to show you the nutrients the rooting gel which we'll discuss that and we're actually going to pull some suckers off of our tomato vines that we're growing hydroponically 
and show you how easy it is to get them down in here and get them started.